Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop of BB-8 from Star Wars The Force Awakens. He comes with the typical Star Wars bobblehead stand, which thankfully is removable because I don't really like them that much. This pop does not belong to me. It belongs to fantastic artist and cosplayer Tracy Cotta, and she, like me, cares about good paint jobs. Now, this came out September of 2015, and it is now May of 2016. So it's been many months since this came out, and it's been many months of us hunting for a good BB-8. Now, we're not like actively hunting out there like a bunch of weirdos, but like every time uh, we saw BB-8s like at a Toys R Us, or at our local comic book shop, or Frank and Sons, or Hot Topics when they'd get new ones in, we'd always check them out, check out the paint jobs, and always go, eh, we'll keep waiting. And finally, we did find one that she found satisfactory enough. So, uh, sure, we're neurotic paint hunters, but also we're pretty patient and pretty relaxed when it comes to waiting for something that we want. And man, this one turned out great. I'm really glad we waited. Not only just because it has a good paint job, but I'm just happy to see this, you know, in the, uh, the collection because, geez, it's such a good sculpt. Like, look at the little details on the, the like the ball, the, like the little dots within, within within circles, all the little grooves and the little uh, metal circular pieces and like little nuggety pieces. Um, the orange paint on the circles are good. And then the silver paint is really, really well done. Like I'm really happy with how the, all the paint on the ball turned out. Really, really clean work. And the ball itself is clean. There's no like real smears to speak of because I saw some that had some like, you know, random paint dots, but the head is where uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, because the one thing that we were always dealing with the most is the gray paint on these two little eye ports. We're just so sloppy and bled everywhere. Also, some of the little silver things on the top would bleed onto the little edge of white there, and that would be annoying. Um, and then the biggest thing that I saw was the silver and black line going around the base of his head would get all squiggly all over. This is like the best solid silver and black line I've seen on any of them. But the orange paint is really clean on this. Again, the sculpted little sections of his head, these vertical and horizontal lines and rectangles are all really, really well sculpted. Um, the black and, and gray paint on this is really good. Um, and then the silver that goes, that kind of rings around his head, all these little sections here, really well painted, really well sculpted, but really solid silver paint. Also, the antenna looks good and cute, and yeah, BB-8 as a pop looks cute as hell. And uh, first of all, duh, if you've seen the movie, BB-8's already adorable, but if you take his head, make it bigger, make his eye a little bigger, he makes for an adorable looking pop. I am very, very happy with how this one turned out. It's a great sculpt. I love it. It's adorable. Thanks for watching and follow me and Tracy on Instagram and Facebook and all that crap.